on, go away, go behind some clouds, please, go away. Hi guys, so for today's video, I saw Hilly from the Hillywood Show do a vlog type video where she did a Tumblr survey, and I personally love Tumblr, but I've never like looked on there for like surveys that you can type up, but do it as a video instead. So I really liked the questions that she answered, so I decided I'll do it too! Because what better to do than a tag video, because Little Lou loves herself some tag videos. There are 34 questions here, so I'm just going to jump right through them real quick, and let's go ahead and get started. Are you a young heart or an old soul? Definitely an old soul. I, I don't know what it is. It's just like I personally, like my morals, my traditions and everything, I'm very traditional. I love old movies as well, like Singing in the Rain, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Um, the Wizard of Oz, let's see, what else is there? There's a whole bunch of them that I could name off, but right, S Sound of Music, love the Sound of Music, but like, just how I look at the world, and how I just treat people, and even like, if I would like, make my own house, I would make a house from like, the 1930s, where it's just like, everybody sits on their front porch, and they all just like wave at each other. I don't know if it's the 1930s, I just threw that random number out there, but just kind of like very welcoming. And I think it's because I grew up in the country and where everybody's very like, they wave at each other when they drive by and you just make, make it your point to say hi to everybody or be nice to everybody you meet. What makes someone a best friend? Just being where I can feel like I'm being my absolute self I don't have to really keep some things back in case they might take that bad or anything. Like, they, I can be just totally weird with them. We can have a bunch of crazy inside jokes and just laugh. Laughing is the main thing. Just being a best friend, you have to be able to laugh of for no reason with me. Just because you just have so much fun. What Christmas present do you remember the most? Um... Probably the one when I figured out that Santa wasn't real. I just remember we, me and Carter sneaked out and looked at the presents that Santa had brought us and mine was like this cat that was like a mechanical cat and it would like like move its head like this and the tail would raise up and it would purr and it'd like go back and it would like turn on out of like nowhere and it was really scary but then we like went into our parents room and my dad was like so what you guys wish for Christmas and I was like I wished for that white cat or something and he was like did you guys look oh by the way I am just now looking at these questions and actually answering them off the top of my head usually I have answers so I go a little bit quicker but I decided to try something new tell me a movie song TV show or a playbook that has changed your life hmm I'd say Singing in the Rain, honestly. Singing in the Rain was definitely like a spark for old, like my love for old things like that and just very traditional and being an old soul. Name one physical feature that you like about yourself and one that you dislike. Hmm, physical feature. I love my size. I love being so tiny and like where the weight goes when I gain weight does not go to my arms, does not go to my stomach, it goes straight to my butt and thighs, which is the hardest to like kind of tone up and make better but at the same time that's more of like the attractive area to gain weight instead of like having more weight in your arms than you would like kind of thing so I really do like my size and being 5'1 and just being a tiny person in general I really do like that and I don't mind being short at all I actually prefer it one thing that I dislike about myself I'd say my nose honestly um, it reminds me of a duck bill. Like, that's so random. But it moves when I talk. Like, the nostrils, when I smile, they go out. And it drives me nuts. And, like, the shape of it when it comes out, I just... Something about it is just a little, like, too much for me. Can money buy happiness? No. I think money has a very specific role in, like how happy a person could be, but money is not the answer to everything. You can have all the money in the world and be like the most miserable person because you have no friends or family, but if you have a whole loving family and you have no money, you're going to be a pretty miserable person too. It just kind of 
It plays a tiny bit of a role, but it is not everything. What's more important in a relationship, physical attraction or emotional connection? Emotional connection. Um, like, physical attraction can be, like, very, very important, but that's later on. Is there anyone close to you that you know you can't trust? Um, no. Where was your favorite place to go when you were a little kid? Hmm, I don't know. I loved, loved Chuck E. Cheese. Have you spent the night in the hospital? No. I have gone to the hospital, um, if you watched my Draw My Life video, then you know that I had, like, an acid reflux thingy where, like, it was something with my bladder and I would have to go to the hospital, like, every year to try to get rid of that. And I literally would cry every single time. It was so traumatizing for me, but never spent the night. Do you enjoy being only with one to two friends or with a large group of people? Um, I like smaller groups and I like around like five if I had to choose like a larger group. Have you ever been bullied? I've never been like really bullied per se. I've been, um, one time this girl was like looking up names and like the meanings behind them and mine means the warrior, warrior and cow. So like everybody in class when I would walk past them would moo at me. But that wasn't really bullying, but I, I did cry. If your partner wanted to wait till marriage until having sex, what would, would you stay in that relationship? Absolutely. Do you believe in God? Yes, I do. I am a Christian and I go to church every Sunday. So yes, I believe in God. Out of all the social networks in the world, why use Tumblr? I love Tumblr. Um, I just love like how you can have, I don't know if it's called GIF or JIF, I'm not like a huge Tumblr person to know like the specific one, so I'm sorry I don't know, but I love just like the uniqueness of Tumblr, it's very cool. What is your quirkiest habit? <laughs> what? I'm not even sure if I know what quirky means. It's I like to stand next to really tall people just to see how much shorter I am, I guess. That's kind of goofy, I guess. I don't know. What is normal? Are you normal? <laughs> what question is that? I'm not normal. I, I'm unique. Uh, normal is just like boring. Someone close to you is dying. You have the choice to let this person live for 10 more years, but if you do, you cause the death of 10 strangers. Do you take the offer? What? That is a horrible, horrible question to ask. That is like, I hate those would you rather questions because they're always horrible. Um, sorry, that was my feet. I'm like sitting like this. Uh, I don't know. I feel like anybody, like, I think Hilly answered this the same way. I, I feel like anybody would choose to save their relative. Um, but I don't want 10 strangers to die. I mean, that's not very nice. I don't want to will that on somebody else's family. I'm going to pass. I'm cheating. I'm passing on that question. If you're alone in your home, do you walk around naked? No. Um, like sometimes if I'm like needing something around the house, I'll walk around in my underwear, but not completely naked. What part of last year sticks out in your mind? Disney World. I went to Disney World with my school's band, and they invited the cheerleaders in art club, and all my friends were either in art club, cheerleaders, or band. So that was really fun. Could you be in a long distance relationship? Um, I don't know. Off the top of my head, I don't know. I think I'd need the person to be here. Do you know what makes you happy? Yeah, just happy people and things going right instead of having bad luck. And it just got really bright. That totally rhymed. I did not even mean to do that. Who was your first crush? I don't even know. I feel like I had a crush on every boy in my class because there was only like seven of them and seven girls. It was a very small class. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. But um, I'll, I'll say this, a boy dared me to put my hand down a shirt and I did it in kindergarten. I just went like, pulled the collar and went Ugh! and brought my hand back out and I got detention. No, I didn't. I've never gotten detention, but I got in trouble. But he dared me to do it and I was like, I'm not afraid of you. I can do it. Where is your favorite place to go out and eat? You don't know. I love seafood, so I'd probably say Red Lobster. But I do like Chipotle. Are you an early bird or a night owl? 
definitely night owl, but I do wake up early. I wake up at 8, which isn't too early, but it's early for me. Give me an unpopular opinion you have. What? I don't know. <laughs> um, this isn't unpopular, but I believe in gun rights. Oh, I should be able to own a gun if I want to own a gun to protect myself because I am a tiny individual and yeah. Do you believe in giving kids medals and trophies for participation? No, honestly, no, because then you just grow up like feeling like, oh, I don't really need to try to succeed. And it's like, no, in real life, you need to like work hard at what you do to be able to get far in life. So doing that to kids, I know it's like supposed to be like, oh, it's so fair and they're just little kids, but in the long run, they'll grow up learning that. And then it just kind of messes with their head once they get to the real world, world and it's like, oh, I, I'm not going to get anywhere in life just by participating. I need to engage in the participation. What song best describes your life right now? I really should have wrote these down. Can I just say one that I really enjoy? Um, I really like In Your Room by Hailstorm and Here's to Us by Hailstorm. How do you express your creativity? Is that even a question for me? Through art! Like seriously, like through my artwork I express my creativity. So, there's really no need in answering that. How- oh, I just answered that one. Describe your neighborhood. Cornfields. <laughs> um, happy people who wave at each other. And not that many neighbors. Can you curl your tongue? Like this? Have you ever peed in the woods? Once. Give me the story of your life in six words. Shy artist who makes YouTube videos. Alright, so that is all of the questions that were on this one. If you would like me to do more of like the Tumblr little surveys, I've found quite a few. So give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see that. And Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to leave me suggestions, you can either leave them down below or tweet at me at twitter.com slash I'm pretty sure it's this way that you read it, or this way. I'm not sure, but I'm sorry. I just, I never know. It'll be right here. This will be my name. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope everybody has a great day. Bye!